voting on the issue in discussion. Two voting sir. Preclude any further amendments and vote immediately. May I approve? I move previous question. Then the chair will say previous question has been moved. So now we put to vote whether we stop the discussion or we don't stop the discussion. And then whatever is being discussed, that will be put to vote. Lay on the table. What is the lay on the table? We are not hands to lay eggs, no? So what is to be pending Lay on the table and eh? any more urgent matters. Half done, no? Lay on the table means it's half done. We start with it. So later on we'll have take it from the table. All the things has to go. These are called subsidy motion. This is not a complete list. They are very, very complicated list of them. If you know these seven This main subject is Chairmanship and Parliamentary Procedure. This is being conducted by Junior Chamber International to train their presidents and officers on how to conduct meetings well without any disturbances. If they know this subject thoroughly well, they can conduct any type of meeting, whether it is 10 members or whether it is for 1000 members, neatly controlling all the participants. This will give a quick result for whatever is being discussed. This subject is also known as Robert's Rules of Order and is being followed all over the world in the parliaments of various countries. This is one of the main subjects even in Junior Chamber International where we want all our presidents to learn how to control meetings. We have learned about uh, what is the power of the chairman and how actually he can control the uh, law officers and how to move a motion and how to adopt an agenda. These are the things we have learned as of now. Learned about chairmanship and this is very much important because it's not only about JCI. In uh, being a business owner, it's for me it is very important to understand how to conduct meetings and how to handle different issues in front of the board of directors. So this is really helpful for me. Thank you. Uh, it's a completely how to handle different meetings uh, across the board of people and uh, within the JCI. And this is it's a generic concept, not only a JCI, but it's a real world usage is very high. And in any, any, any board of directors, they can really use it as a guideline for this uh, a whole process of conducting different meetings and uh, having resolutions and also making some uh, useful uh, uh, decisions within the given time. We have learned how to control a meeting like uh, and uh, we have even learned how uh, if members are how to make the members active and how to have a equal just how to give equal justice to every member in a meeting and uh, in this uh, meeting we have even learned that uh, we have to uh, control ourselves and we have to be confident while we are chairing a meeting it's a privilege attending to CAP by K.V. Ratnam sir because we have learnt a lot about how to uh, organize a meeting or uh, anything whatever as a chairman and uh, JCI has given us a good privilege of doing everything how to uh, organize a meeting through this chairmanship and parliamentary procedures. Thank you JCI for making us such a good uh, leaders.